Okay, so right here I have a 30-year Highland Park, 30-year-old Highland Park that was sent to me by Alex in Manitoba. And I'm going to pour this one also as well. There's our 30-year-old Highland Park. And see if I can get something out of it in the way of a nose. Not much yet. I'm getting a little smoke, a little peat. A bit of, uh, quite a bit of sherry. But I'm going to let that open up for a while, put it aside here. What I have here is the 33-year-old Glendronic, also from Alex. But I've done some research and realized that there are several versions of 33-year-old Glendronic. There is a, well, let's, let's just go over here to the uh, Glendronic. Uh, website, the distillery. They have here uh, one that's aged 33 years. It's a Glendronic 33 year old, regarded by many as one of the distillery's great releases, matured in the finest Spanish Oloroso sherry casks. Exquisite malt scored 88 out of 100, blah blah blah. Uh, described by Jim Murray, Golden Nugget, Golden Nugget. Sublime whiskey is not to be missed. Bottled at 40%, non-chill filtered, and natural color. And appearance. Rich mahogany with distinctive tawny heart. Well, I don't see rich mahogany here. Do you? I don't know. I don't think this is it. Uh, Okay, I don't think this is the right one. Now there is another Glendronic 33 years old here. It's a sherry cask. 40% also. And this one could be the one distilled in 1971 and matured in a small batch of exquisite Oloroso sherry casks. This 33-year-old dram appeared in 2004 and at the time was the oldest and quite possibly the best Glendronic ever released, boasting 95 out of 100 from Jim Murray, Bible Gold Medal San Francisco Spirits Competition, not a dram to miss. Okay, now is that this one? I don't know. This would be Glendronic 33-year-old. I'm guessing that's, that it's this one. Let's see what else have we got for Glendronic 33. There's another one here. 33-year-old, uh, 1978, batch 6. Bottled at 52.9%. I don't think that this is it. I don't believe that this would be it because this one does not have the nose of something that strong. I'm not getting any alcohol at all on this. I think this is quite quite a bit lighter. Okay, I got varying hints of sherry, very dark dark sherry, dried fruits, at the same time kind of subtle. This has been opened up, this has been, uh, you know, open in the glass for over an hour now. And at first I was getting some sherry and not, not much, not much at all. And then and a little more sherry as I went along. And now I'm getting some caramel notes and some uh, some vanilla notes 
and some something spicy like cloves maybe or oregano but it's it's just a hint of it but mostly that's the problem with 25 mils you don't have a chance to get the whole the whole thing. I'm also going to have an oat cake to maybe get the flavor of the Chivas Regal 18 out of my mouth. Another thing is, besides not knowing which of the Glendronic 33 year old expressions this one is, that was a batch six. What else have we got here? Here's an Oloroso Sherry 33 year old. Uh, Glendronic Oloroso Sherry, but 33. Year old single malt Scotch whiskey. So there's one here. 33 year old NV. On sale from the Netherlands for $1,267. There's another one from the Whiskey Exchange UK London is a 33-year-old sherry cask. Then there's one from um, Los Angeles, Flask Fine Wine and Whiskey, Glendronic Oloroso Sherry Butt 33-year-old single malt Scotch whiskey. That's the one distilled in 1978. And then there's one from eBay dot at Austria, Glendronic Oloroso Sherry Cask 1971. 33 year old whiskey. So you see the dilemma I'm in here is a, it's a 33 year old Glendronic, yes, but which one? There are four available in the world that I see for sale, and none of them would ship here. So which one am I drinking? I don't know. I can give you an honest opinion. Of what's in my glass but I don't know for sure which one it is so let's go back to where we were on the nose The sherry is quite subtle. Now, after it's been open for over an hour, I'm getting a a clay a, a clay caramel and vanilla kind of marriage. The flavors are kind of, or at least the noses, the nose um, on the nose, everything is kind of blended together married together. It's hard to pick out the individual flavors, at least from the nosing, from a nosing side. I'm going to taste it neat. And after tasting it neat, I'm going to add a few drops of water. I'm pretty sure this is one of the 40% alcohol by volume um, expressions. Okay, first taste, here we go. Mmm. Whoa. That is... I'm getting the sherry. But the sherry is so well integrated with the caramels and the Vanilla and 
excuse me, and everything else that is, wait, that was just the first we taste, I'm going to have to do this again. Suck all the flavor out of my mouth that's there. Wash it down with water. And try again with a tiny little sip. And I'm going to keep it in my mouth for at least half a minute, maybe 40 seconds. Hmm. I couldn't last quite half a minute, but this is so silky smooth that while I'm swishing it around in my mouth, it's just seeping down my throat. Drops are seeping down my throat. It is so silky smooth that it's not like drinking whiskey at all. And the mouthfeel is also silky. It's not thick and chewy, but it's not thin and watery either. There's some substance there, but all of the flavors that make up this whiskey seem to be so well married together that you can't really pick out where the, and now, in the aftertaste, there's a bitterness, so I'm thinking it's it's uh, European oak um, sherry casks. Um, I was getting some fruity notes. I was getting some caramel. Some uh, vanilla, and there's something clay something like clay in there too. I, I'm not sure what it is. <clears throat> but these flavors are so well integrated that it's hard to tell where one begins and the, the other, well, where one ends and another begins. I'm going to give it just a little bit of dr drop of water. Maybe that's enough. I don't know how delicate this is, so I just gave it a couple little drops of water. <clears throat> Oh, oh, wait a minute. Even from here, I'm, I'm starting to get whiffs of sherry. Ah, maybe that's the trick. Um, I think I'm getting a little more fruit now than I did before. get the fruit to open up. It's a, it's a delicate one. It's not that strong. I hope I didn't put too much water with the couple little drops I put in there. I don't believe the nose has changed very much. There may be a few more warm 
toffee notes coming through. I'm not getting any, not much else besides very, very smooth sherry, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of toffee. Nothing really stands out. Okay, taste again. Super, super, super smooth again. The sherry is not overpowering. It's nice. It's nice and fruity. Medium fruits, but indistinct. Um, tiny little bit of pineapple now that I added water to it. Um, just super, super smooth. The... Uh, Nothing really stands out. Everything is very subtle, very gentle, very smooth, very light. There are no bold flavors. It's just harmonious. It's like almost like a Japanese whiskey. I'm getting some cloves or oregano. It's a very gentle, spicy note. Doesn't really stand out much. Yeah, cloves. It's like cloves that have just lost about 80% of their flavor or sharpness. There are, there, are, there are no rough edges here. Everything is smooth and rounded. And everything blends together, all the flavors blend together to give you something satisfying, something very delicate. And I'm surprised that it's not very woody at all. They must have used some uh, second fill casks or third fill casks to put this together and get a whiskey that's 33 years old. And the other thing I don't know is, which, okay, besides not knowing which 33-year-old Glendronic it is, I don't know how long the bottle had been opened. I don't know where the liquid level in the bottle was when this was poured into the sample. I don't know, but with a whiskey that's 33 years old, you'd expect that it would be oxidized quite a bit in the barrel to begin with. So I don't know if it changes very much after the bottle is open. Uh, it's very, very subtle. This has been an interesting little exercise. And I'm going to move on to the 30 year old Highland Park next. So, Slancha. Food Quick. Food Quick. Food Quick. Food Quick. Food Quick. Food quick. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>